Hello everyone, my name is Mouse Tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to export your mod using a build script. So today I'm going to show you how to use a build script and how to use ant to build the jar. Now the first thing you need to do for this to work is install ant. The website is ant.apache.org. You can look up tutorials on how to install it, I'm not going to show it because it take pretty long but it is easy so um, make sure you install that you need to pause the video if you haven't already done that so let's go on what you need is a build script now a build script is something that ant knows what to do in order to build something so I have already set up this build script I will tell you what exactly it does and how it works um, yeah so let's get started first we're gonna say which files hold information so in this case that is builds.properties and build underscore number.properties which are these two files so let's open up build underscore numbers first and that is basically holding our build information so currently I am trying to build number one nah, not at the moment I'm gonna do that when we start okay so the second thing is build the properties which hold a little bit more information which is the directory of development. Now when I start a build I'm going to execute this file. I want to say what the main folder is for my, uh, for my mod which is two folders back and that's what this indicates. So not top, not source but workspace is where I'm going to do stuff. Okay, so this is basically saying go back to folders. Now the dir.release is the directory of where my jar file is going to go. So that's going to be releases. This is the current version of Minecraft and this is the current version of my mod. Okay, so let's go back to the build script. And what we see is that I declare these two files so they can now be used. What I do secondly is clean up. If I have built something before, then I need to delete that and start fresh. So I'm going to delete a few folders inside the MCP folder. Um, yeah, just make sure you do that. Now we're going to increment the build number. So I showed you that file that holds the current value of 1. I'm going to um, add 1 to that, so my current build number is 2. Now we're going to prepare for the builds by copying... Uh, my top common folder to the minecraft uh, sorry to the mcp folder where it can be uh, recompiled and reobfuscated so once that is copied i'm gonna recompile my mod and i'm gonna reobfuscate it so that's just mcp stuff that needs to be done and again it depends on what system you have so if you have windows it's going to use the recompile the bait the bat and uh, if you have a Unix, then it's going to uh, run the recompiled at SH. Okay, so once we have recompiled and reobfuscated it, we're going to build it. Now this is basically what it's going to read. It's going to read the end call. Then it's going to look for the target clean, which is uh, this. So it's going to execute this. And it goes again to the end call, which is going to call target increment build. So that's how it works. It goes like uh, it calls the end call and it looks for the targets clean, which is up here. So once we have reobfuscated and everything, we're gonna build the jar. Now this is what it is gonna do. It's gonna make a new directory and we're gonna make a des de destination file, which is the jar file, and this is just uh, how it's gonna be named. Then we're going to include the MC mod file, to include the reobfuscated stuff, and we are going to re uh, sorry include the resources. So that is the jar. That's building the jar. And once that is done, we're going to clean it up again. So make sure every everything is clean for the next time. So that's what we're going to do. Now I'm going to show you how to execute it. Now what you need to do is have your TOP and everything done. Uh, what you do need to add is a m uh, mcmod.info. This goes right into your common folder. And when you open it up, it needs to have this format. You can change stuff like the mod name and the mod ID, but 
Just make sure you keep this format or else it will not recognize it. Now once again, sorry for it, but when we go to the build.xml and you want to use my build script, it is of course on my GitHub account. Uh, link will be in the description or in the screen right now. Um, you want to change some things, which is this. This is where my folder is going to go, but it might be different for you. The thing you want to change is uh, this, because this is my directory where I work, but you might work in a different directory. And of course you want to change TOP to some other stuff. Pretty sure you can find what you need to change. And of course you want to change the build the property if you like. Okay, so once you have installed and once you have installed the mcmod.info file and once you have copied the build the properties build at XML and builds underscore numbers you want to uh, open up your command prompt and you want to go to your workspace so I'm gonna change directory and my this folder is on my desk top slash workspace slash source slash top so once I'm in that folder I'm gonna use the ants command the ants command is going to look for my build file and execute it. So when I do that, it will wait a few seconds and then it will say, okay, we got the build file. This is what we're going to do. Now it tells you that it is uh, doing stuff. Um, so it was incrementing the build number. It was preparing. It was recompiling. It is still recompiling actually. Um, and this is going to uh, take a few seconds. So while that is running, I'm going to go to my .minecraft. What you want to do is to test if it actually works. You want to install Forge Universal. So I'm pretty sure you know how to do it, but go to the bin folder. Open up minecraft.jar with WinRAR and install Forge Universal. Don't use the source now, but use Universal. I'm not going to show you how to do it because it's so easy. So once Forge is installed, you need to run Minecraft once. It will download some stuff. and You should have a mods folder. So this is where we're going to put the jar when it is built. When it's built. So as you can see, it has recompiled everything. It took me 53 seconds. Now it is re-obfuscating, so it's going to look for the files which have been changed and it, it's going to put that in the jar. So it's now re-obfuscating it and once that is done we should see a folder appearing called resources. So it's taking a little bit longer than I had expected but I'm sure you can wait for that. There we go, you can see that it found a ton of new classes. Um, yeah, the new class that is found all contain readable names. But if you have a non-readable name like AAB or ZDG or anything like that, that means that you have added a base class and that's not what you want. So make sure uh, you haven't changed the base files and that's kind of stuff. So now that is done, we can close this down and we'll see the folder called releases. Then it's gonna hold the Minecraft for uh, the Minecraft version and the built for uh, the mod version. There we go. We have our jar file. So let's copy that and paste that right into a mods folder in our .minecraft. So when we now run Minecraft, we should be able to load our mod. Um, I hope this is gonna work at once. Yeah, there we go. So Minecraft is running. If I now go to it takes a second. There we go. Mods. You can see that my top folder is in there. It has the description I told it to have in the mcmod.info file. And when we create a new world, I can actually show you that the textures work, that the custom uh tab works, that the items are in, that the blocks are in. So let's quickly test that out. Go to my tab. There we go. The texture is in. The tab is in. My block is in. Everything works. So this is how you export your mod. Now as you could see it is pretty easy to build um, this. 
you just have to run one command and everything is done nothing else to do and this is what you actually give to other pre uh, to other people you just give this jar file say okay install forge universal and in put this in your mod folder and you're done you have installed my mod so if you have any questions leave that in the comment below or on my minecraft forum page you can always email me or message me or whatever make sure to subscribe to me because i will be doing a lot more tutorials leave a like if you like this and if you now know how to export a mod using ant and i hope you have a nice day i'll see you the next time